twin blasts hit the village restaurant in central Mogadishu shortly before noon on Saturday. A car bomb was first detonated at the entrance of the restaurant, breaking through security cordon and paving way for a second suicide bomber who then blew himself up among the patrons. I know 10 people have been killed in this attack. I saw eight injured people. All of them had been in the restaurant at the time of the blast. This was a terrible attack. Police said at least 18 people were killed in the attack on the restaurant situated barely a kilometer from the presidential palace. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed condemned Tuesday's attack. They say they are fighting the government and its soldiers. And see what they do today. They are attacking innocent people. They are killing elders, they are killing the elite, and they bomb the markets. Our only option is to fight back, and we must join forces and unite against them. The restaurant came in a similar attack last September in two suicide attacks that killed 14 people. Saturday's blast are the latest in a spate of coordinated attacks that rocked Mogadishu since the beginning of this year. On Tuesday last week, President Mohamud escaped an assassination attempt when Al-Shabaab militants attacked his convoy south of the capital. Mogadishu had been experiencing some degree of relative calm that has attracted investors and seen some countries reopen their embassies in the Horn of African nation. But as it emerges, the Al-Shabaab has on occasion successfully infiltrated the capital city to disrupt this calm in daring attacks. Perhaps to prove a point that they may be down, but certainly not out. Mohammed Hirmoni, CCTV.